Lee Jong Sok is a South Korean A-list actor who has worked in the entertainment industry from a very young age. He made his acting debut in the 2005 film Sympathy, but it was his role in the romantic drama school 2013 that catapulted him to huge fame. Since then, he's become a well-known drama prince starring in popular titles such as W, While You Were Sleeping, and Romance is a Bonus Book. Over the years, he's proven himself to be one of the dreamiest guys in K-drama. He's got amazing acting skills and an incredible ability to make everyone's heart melt. Here are 10 interesting facts you might not know about Lee Jong Sok. He was originally training to debut in an idol group as a rapper. In his early years, even before modeling or acting, he was originally training to debut as a rapper. He trained for three months for an idol group rumored to be called Real, but he soon quit after the agency broke its promise to debut him as an actor as well. He once guested on Game of Truth and showed off his dance moves. Many people who know him now though would be wondering who this boy was. His most famous dance performance was when he bashfully performed to Psy's new face at a fan meeting which has gained over 23 million views on YouTube. School 2013 and I Hear Your Voice has always been his favorite drama. In a K-drama world, he first appeared in the 2010 drama Prosecutor Princess as the assistant of the second male lead. He started to gain more popularity after appearing in the hit drama Secret Garden, where he caught viewers' eyes as a budding musician. His ultimate breakthrough came with his success in the high school drama school 2013. This drama also won him his first acting award of Best New Actor in 2012. Following the success of School 2013, the actor starred in the critically acclaimed drama series I Can Hear Your Voice as an intelligent young man who can read minds. He received the Excellence Award in the male category at the Korea Drama Awards. Since then, his acting career took off and he is now one of the most well-known actors of our generation. In his 2017 fan meeting, the actor revealed how he has a special place in his heart for his earlier works that ended up catapulting him into stardom. He candidly explained, I become even more fond of my previous works like School 2013 or I Hear Your Voice whenever I see them. I do feel that my acting is better in my more recent dramas, but the affection I have for my past productions is different. The feeling of, this seems really genuine is different with those dramas as well. He experienced a big acting obstacle while filming Doctor Stranger. In the 2014 drama Doctor Stranger, Lee Jong Sok played a South Korean genius doctor who was raised in North Korea after his father was conned into going over to North. While filming the drama, the actor experienced one of his biggest acting obstacles. He mentioned that the responsibility of his role as a doctor trying to flee North Korea was too heavy on him as he couldn't relate to the emotions that needed to be portrayed. After filming, he felt that acting is very scary and revealed that he had many regrets in certain scenes. He films himself on set with a personal camcorder. Acting is a skill. Like most skills, it's aided by natural talent, but that's not enough. Actors need dedicated and focused effort to improve their acting skills. However, people have different standards of what they consider good acting, and those standards also depend on how much they like the actor. Lee Jong Sok definitely wants to act well. He once shared how he improved his acting in an interview, saying, I have never acted with my instinct. This resulted from the responsibility I feel about my work, and I always beat myself up when I see the result. That's why I always record myself on set with my personal camcorder and reflect on myself while monitoring. During the scenes where my whole body is shown, I look at the way I stand. Even when my co-stars are acting and the scene only shows the back of my head, I look at my gestures. He got a pilot certificate for his role in R2B, Return to Base. As if this Korean heartthrob couldn't get any more charming, he is even a certified pilot. He had to train for three months to appear in the film R2B, Return to Base, as part of a special pilot team. From this experience, the actor mentioned that he developed a respect for pilots and wants to continue to become an actor with more skills. He also has obtained his black belt in Taekwondo, reaching fourth dan, meaning he is skilled enough to be an instructor. He has his own agency. Lee Jong Sok set up his own management agency in April 2018 named A-Man Project, initially partnered with the actor's former agency, YNK Entertainment, before A-Man Project went full solo. He revealed that he feels responsible for the people who work at his agency as he said in an interview with Esquire, I established my company to provide a good working environment for hard-working people. At first, we started because we all wanted to work while having fun. However, it is a lot different from what I had in mind. 
I often think, this is reality for these people, so I shouldn't think of it lightly. He served in the military as a social worker. Due to a car accident that ruptured his ACL when he was 16, he was deemed unfit for service as an active duty soldier. Therefore, he served as a social worker in the military. Many reporters and fans gathered when he enlisted. This resulted in him having to sign his official documents in an underground parking lot instead of the military office. He was officially discharged from his mandatory military service on January 2, 2021. He has a phobia of being the center of attention. Lee Jong Sok has been an introvert since he was a kid. The actor revealed that during elementary and middle school, he wouldn't raise his hands to answer questions. He added that he is more extroverted now as compared to the past and that his mom is very happy about the change. Despite being a public figure for over a decade, he suffers from scopophobia, a fear of getting attention. As an actor, it could be your worst enemy, but Lee Jong Sok faces his fears every time he attends a press conference, a fan meeting event, or an awards ceremony as he speaks in front of tons of people. In front of huge crowds and press conferences, his face will start to turn red and he will sweat excessively. He prefers coffee over alcohol. As he cannot handle alcohol well and tends to fall asleep after drinking, Lee Jong Sok prefers coffee to alcohol. He loves hanging out at cafes to have a good chat with his friends, and this is what led him to open his own cafe, Cafe 89 Mansion. However, due to the pandemic, he was forced to permanently close his cafe on his birthday, September 14, 2020. Fans were saddened by the news and shared their hopes that he could reopen the cafe again someday. He wants to be open about being in a relationship. This is a rare thing, because most Korean celebrities prefer to keep their relationship out of the spotlight. On Rain Effect, Lee Jong Sok has revealed that he would be open about it and publicly announce his romance if he were to get into a relationship. He has a positive opinion of public relationships and thinks that it would be better to share with the world before a scandal photo emerges. He also said that he wanted to get married as soon as possible.